international mailbag today from Pimeroni, as you know, one of my favorite uh, vendors. I um, ordered a few things from them, so let's uh, see if we can get into this package today. Open uh, this way, so let's uh, give that oh, tape down pretty good today. Nice little packing tape they have. to the side and see what we got in here all right several little things oops is there something else in there nope well that was it um so there we go all right so let's start here with uh with this little thing um I haven't ever worked with the M5 stack uh, components, but this little one caught my eye. It has the ESP32-S3 in it. A teeny little display here. Um, let's see if we can pop that baby open. Take a look at it. I'm attracted to small things. Get that out. There we go. Put these things over here for now. Wow. Okay, so we can see, uh, see the back of that. So uh, just a few pins accessible to us. And a USB. So this has uh, a six degree of freedom uh, IMU in it. Uh, I think it has about eight megabytes of, uh, of flash for storing things. Um, several pins to uh, to connect up to. So I thought I would uh, try a few of these items. I actually have a few more on order from um, M5 uh, Stack directly, but this was the first one um, that has come in. So I'm not sure. Uh, <laughs> this is a way I'll go, but I do really love how they're packaged and um, just a cool vibe coming off of them. And I haven't done much with the ESP32 um, type board, so i um, curious to see what I can do with them as well. So uh, pretty fun. Excited for that. All right. Also, uh, this is probably the main reason why I went ahead and ordered from Pimeroni was I've got a uh, Raspberry Pi Zero W that was in stock. And so uh, I don't have the Zero W and I'm kind of on a goal to collect all the Raspberry Pi boards and see what I can do with them. So yeah, it's the Zero W version 1.1 and they had them in stock for, for quite a while. I mean, I didn't even jump on it, and I was able to get one. Um, can't touch them from U.S. vendors, but uh, every now and then I can get some from, from Pimeroni. So, um, pretty cheap little board, and uh, need to have one and be able to play with it. So that's that one. And I, uh, I picked up just some... Uh, addressable RGB uh, LED wire from them. I'm going to uh, finally connect one of these up. I have one of their plasma sticks boards and I forgot to buy any um, addressable <laughs> RGB LED wire so I went ahead and grabbed some since I was making an order anyways because I knew this would definitely work with uh, the board. 
um, and it's probably high quality. Uh, you can definitely buy a whole bunch of these on Amazon and various vendors cheaper, um, but sometimes you get what you pay for. So got that. And then last, uh, I bought an e-ink display um, that's for the Pico and Pico W. I've been seeing a lot of uh, people talking and doing projects with e-ink and I haven't ever explored that so I decided to get a little uh, display to practice with see what it's all about so let's uh, go ahead and open that up so this is one of those packs I guess that goes on the back of your Pico and so they're good for experimenting I think oh it's a little bit larger than I expected it to be Let's see. All right, so yeah, here's the uh, e-ink display side, and we got some buttons to do some control. So this is 296 by 128 pixels, and then here's where we'll uh, plug in our uh, Pico to the back. Got a reset button. Oh, that looks like fun, and uh, a way to get started and you know, see what these e-ink displays are all about and maybe come up with some interesting projects for them. Well, that's what I had for uh, today's mailbag. Thanks for joining me.